Peace and blessings, family. Your brother, your friend, your dietitian back again for another installment. Puerto Rico, social media, Facebook, what I'm reading, updates in general, my status. Let's get it popping. Okay, so peace and love, family. I'm out here um, in uh, back in Cali. Uh, I threw up a couple videos, real short videos, speaking on abundance, speaking on Puerto Rico, uh, speaking on Vieques. Um, speaking on different islands that I was on, uh, but I didn't do a full recap of my trip and I've been off of YouTube for like a month now. It's crazy. I've been trying to stay and I cut my hair too. I've been trying to stay uh, consistent, but <clears throat> in fact, I was doing some contemplating and doing some contemplation of whether I should um, continue on social media. So I'm taking a social media break uh, for two years, but it's just gonna be on um, on Facebook. So I'm gonna be off Facebook for two years, but I was trying to decide if I should um, get off of YouTube as well, or if I should just do Facebook. So that's why I've been gone um, for like a month because uh, I was busy, but I was also contemplating what should I do? Should I stay on YouTube? Should I get off YouTube? Should I just, you know, post some stuff on my Facebook um, page, inspirit.nutrition on Facebook? I still post on there. But in terms of my personal Facebook and social media, I've been off of it. Um, and I'm focusing on real life connections. And also, I'm going to put more energy into my YouTube. Um, so that's why I'm coming back. Uh, YouTube is amazing. I'm talking to people from St. Martin. I'm talking for, to uh, talking to people from India from uh, Bangladesh, Nepal, people from the US, Canada, Australia, um, people from Guatemala, Puerto Rico, people from all over the world. So YouTube is great um, to connect with people. So updates, um, like I said, I'm doing face in a book instead of Facebook for a year at least, but for two years. So why two years? I have certain financial goals that I wanna reach. Um, to be blunt with you, I'm trying to get to financial freedom. I'm trying to get out of the, I'm not trying to, I am getting to financial freedom. I'm building um, my own enterprise and I'm going into entrepreneurship and um, I want to <clears throat> I want to go all in for two years. And so I'm um, cutting out social media and I'm just going all in and focusing. YouTube, I think is going to help me um, get to my goals faster um, because I'm going to be building with people and sharing, um, building my YouTube channel. So um, I'm going to stick to that. Uh, but yeah, so that's why two years. So facing a book, um, let's discuss some of the things I've been reading. Actually, John Hope Bryant. Look up this brother. He's from Compton. He started Operation Hope. Um, he is the CEO and founder of Bryant Group Ventures. He has a nice um, Facebook page where he posts a lot of videos. How do I follow the videos if I'm not on Facebook, right? Um, I still use my Inspired Nutrition page. And so I follow him on there. He talks about entrepreneurship. Okay, so um, random, disconnect. John O'Brien, John O'Brien, entrepreneurship, self-determination, just insane, great videos. Also read his book, How the Poor Can Save Capitalism. Highly recommend it. I was in a kind of like a rut, going through some crazy things, decided to um, dive into one of the books that's been on my bookshelf and uh, read it and kind of help change my perspective. And so one book I've been reading is Success Through a uh, Positive Mental Attitude by W. Clement Stone and Napoleon Hill. Highly recommend it. Um, then I've also been reading, this is a recommendation, comes from my mentor. Um, I prayed for a mentor um, and meditated on getting one and uh, he manifested sometime last year. And so he's been recommending a lot of books for me. Um, one of them is The Dynamic Laws of Prosperity um, by the same author, Catherine Ponder. And this one is called The Millionaire from Real, uh, the Millionaire from Real Estate. Funny, that's what my mind is on, as you can see. The Millionaire from Nazareth, His Prosperity Secrets for You. So it talks about the teachings of um, Yeshua ben Yosef or Pro Prophet Isa or Jesucristo or Jesus Christ. Um, you know, however you want to call the prophet, um, talks about his lessons and his teachings, but from a prosperity, abundance perspective. And so it's highly recommended. 
uh, something I'm listening to now. Um, I've been listening to Drake's Views album. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Nipsey Hussle, um, some of his old stuff. But also, Nipsey Hussle has come out with um, Marathon Mondays to where he talks about, I mean, he drops um, music every Monday. So I've been tuning into that. He's been doing that for like a month now. Um, and so I've been listening to a lot of Nipsey, old stuff. The Rihanna anti album is fire. Um, Yusuf Latif is classic. Um, uh, Debussy, um, classic. Um, a lot of good stuff. So that's just where I've, I've been. Um, in terms of Puerto Rico, it's not ineffable and I'm not speechless, but it's another trip that changed my life. Um, Puerto Rico showed me Loisa, showed me the Afro Afro Boricuan uh, culture. It showed me the multiculturalism and the diversity of Puerto Rico. I saw people that you know were basically white or look white, um, blind hair, blue eyes, um, and then I seen people in between all the way to looking like the original man. And so I think. It was amazing. The food was delicious. The culture is amazing and unique. You can see a mix of a mix in a uh, compilation of the different cultures: the Taíno, the you know the African and the Spanish mix. Um, you can see strong uh, African influences and the indigenous influence. You can see the Spanish influence. Um, some of them thought I was from there until I opened my mouth. Well, actually, some of them even when after I opened my mouth, they thought I was still from there. Or well, my parents were from there. Um, I think it's partially because some people's concepts are kind of like limited. They think, well, if you're, if you look like us and you're here speaking some Spanish and you're in Puerto Rico, what's the chances that you're from Jamaica? What's the chances that you're from Canada or from Los Angeles, you know, some small neighborhood in Los Angeles, in West LA? They don't really think like that. The first thought is, He's probably from here. His grandparents are from here. You know, why would someone want to come and see my small town called Loisa in Puerto Rico? Why would somebody want to come and visit, um, you know, Fajardo, Fajardo or um, what's wrong with my accent, man? I haven't been speaking Spanish in so long. My, my Spanish is falling off. Um, Fajardo, uh, Loisa, um, the different places I went to. Why would somebody want to come visit my city, uh, Vieques or wherever I'm from? you know, they must be from here or they have some other connection. So a lot of people thought I was from there. Some people knew I was American, spoke to me in English. Um, I'm gonna do a whole video on Puerto Rico because I can't explain all of it, but um, I'm here, I'm back, I'm present. I'm gonna be making more videos. I was indecisive, trying to decide if I should just leave the channel inactive for the two years that I'm off of, um, off of uh, social media or if I should just continue with it. And I just saw a hummingbird, so I think that's another sign that I should continue on um, on YouTube. So I'm definitely going to continue, continue making videos about what I'm doing, what's on my mind, and answer some of you guys' questions. Some questions that I'm still going to answer, I haven't forgot. People ask me about what I think about caffeine, um, coffee, what do I think about, um, what was my experience at HBCUs. Um, they want me to do videos talking about healthy fat, pH. A T and um, unhealthy fat. Uh, talking about body image with you know uh, descendants of Africa or Afro, Af you know African Americans, the sister from Caribbean, sisters from Puerto Rico, sister from Cuba, Colombia, sisters from Nigeria, uh, Botswana, from Zambia, you know, and the body structure, image, BMI, all that. I want to talk about that. Um, I want to talk about a lot of stuff. Okay. So just hold tight, stay patient, and we're going to see the journey of some millennial mavericks, some maverick millennials. Your brother, your friend, your dietitian, you're back again for another installment in spirit, nutrition. I'm still out here living in abundance. I'm still out here making magic money, as Ralph Smart says, um, and uh, trying to maintain peace and happiness. You see what I'm saying? So let's get it.